North Texas man who won a highly controversial auction to shoot a black rhino in Africa says he expects that hunt will go forward despite threats on his life and a potential ruling by officials in Washington that could prevent him from bringing it back to the United States. Only on Fox 4, Richard Race is down with the professional hunter Corey Knowlton to talk about it. Rich. Steve, Corey Knowlton's rhino hunt is sanctioned by Namibia. The money he's paying, he says, is important in their efforts to stop poaching and to save the species. It's supported by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, but it's vehemently opposed by the Humane Society and other animal rights groups, and there simply is no middle ground in this battle. If they do not allow the import of the trophy, would I go hunt anyway? I don't know that I'm prepared to answer that either. You know, I think I had to cross that bridge when we get there. For almost a year now, Corey Knowlton has been the focus of anger by animal rights groups since winning an auction in January at the Dallas Safari Club to hunt and kill a black rhino in Africa. Granted a permit by Namibia to cull out an older non-breeding male that officials there say has been killing younger animals. $350,000 going to conservation efforts in Namibia to protect the endangered species. The last hurdle is Knowlton's application to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Department to bring the animal home. Public comment on the matter closed earlier this month. Somebody within the U.S. Fish and Wildlife said they were putting extra scrutiny on it. It's up to them, the Namibian minus for environment and tourism, and I hope that they put a lot of scrutiny on it. There is the subject that uh, he wants to kill. Black rhino. The rhino. Arlington lawyer and animal rights activist Don Fear has been to Africa several times armed only with a camera. He is skeptical about Namibia's promises. You send a chunk of money over there, it's going in somebody's pocket. To say that there's any program over there to truly protect endangered species is kind of a joke. Knowlton is a hunting guide from North Texas who specializes in exotic destinations and trophy animals here in Nepal, top of the world, for a TV show on the outdoor channel called The Professionals. But nothing he's faced in the wild has prepared him for a torrent of threats that the rhino hunt has spawned. I don't know, would you get used to people saying they're gonna come and kill your kids? Among the thousands of postings, I hope the rhino rips you in half. Do your children know what a monster their father is? I hope you get what you deserve, a short and painful existence. That, that doesn't serve the purpose. It doesn't accomplish anything. It makes everybody look like a lunatic. Don Fear acknowledges there's been too much of that from what he calls a radical fringe. I don't agree with a thing the guy is doing, but I'm also not going to use those tactics to stop it. That, that's, an, that's just, no, that's not right. The Dallas Safari Club has promised to refund Knowlton's money if U.S. Fish and Wildlife denies his permit to bring the trophy home. But Knowlton says that's his decision and I fully expect they're going to grant the permit. I'll be surprised if they don't. There are actually two applications now to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Department for permits to bring a rhino back from Namibia. The other is from a Las Vegas resident named Michael Luzich. He apparently worked out a deal with Namibia on his own, and Corey Knowlton thinks that animal's already been taken. Steve? All right, Rich, question. Corey Knowlton, I'm not sure why he's getting all this attention, the focus of this, because this goes on every year, several times, and has been going on for several years, right? You're absolutely right. Each year, the government issues five black rhino permits. There are thought to be about 5,000 black rhinos left in the wild, maybe 1,800 of those in Namibia. And the Namibian government there says the money is used to protect the species, to improve habitat, fight poaching, and they say to cull out those older males that are not breeding, but instead killing younger males. But to the animal rights camp, the mere idea of killing an endangered species is just beyond the pale. And again, the emotions run so high in this thing, Steve, and really on both sides. All right. Yeah, Richard, I was asking that question. I was thinking it's probably the way it was sold, this idea of auctioning it off. It was very much more public than... I, I think that had a lot... I really do think that had a lot to do with it. It was just the idea of marketing right. this hunt that I think uh, so uh, made so many people angry and maybe not able to see the other side that... Maybe there is some benefit to conservation. It really is. It's, there's two sides to every story. It sure certainly is. is in this one. All right, Rich, in our newsroom, thanks.